This is Neil Schneider for MTBS TV at CES 2016. To my immediate right is, is George Berger, who's president of Infinidec. Welcome to the program, George. Thank you. So, so tell us about Infinidec. Well, Infinidec is, is the first um, commercially viable active omnidirectional treadmill. It allows you to walk anywhere you want, three dimensionally, uh, and probably will be used quite a bit in virtual reality, amongst other things. So, can you, you now? What I see is you're walking in different directions. Let me, let me, let me uh, uh, frame this a little bit. I've seen other solutions where the surface is like a slippery surface, and you're wearing these slippery shoes, and you and you're tracked in these different directions. So, what's the mechanism of action with this solution? The slippery surfaces, as you put it, they're trying to simulate walking. This is not simulating walking; it is walking. And, and uh, but what I was striking about it is, y even though there's a mechanics to it, uh -huh. you can walk in different directions. You can walk straight. You can walk sideways. Right. Can you elaborate right. a little bit as to how that works? Uh, the uh, sensor array out there uh, knows where you are. So you could walk forward, backward, sideways. It doesn't matter which way you're facing. Which way you're moving is the way the uh, treadmill wants to go. Okay. Very good. Now, uh, what about speed? I mean, we were, I was, it's my first time on. It's my first time on, and obviously I was a bit walking gingerly. But in yes. practice, you know, when things are finalized, is this something that you're going to be walking and running on? Like, what's your vision for this? This one here is meant to go up to uh, six miles an hour. Uh, right now, for this show and the fact that it's on no, we have it set for three. Uh, the future of the Infinidec itself would be uh, quite varied. We could make them small enough to put on, uh, on tables or large enough probably to ride bikes on. There's so many uses for them. It's incredible from green screen on TV and movies to all sorts of medical reason, uh, you know, uses and a multitude of virtual reality uses. Now, you mentioned there's a sensor on top that detects where you are. Um, is that what also detects the speed of how your feet are moving or yes, is it something it, else? It, it has a desire to bring you back to center. So obviously the faster you're moving, the faster the treadmill will bring you back to center. Okay, very good, very good. So uh, now I take it it's experimental. Like it sounds like it's something that's still a work in progress. If I'm, if I'm, am I correct about that? Perhaps it's a bit above experimental. Right now, we're looking for strategic partners. You know, it's just a little group of us together that that, that built this over the last six months. Um, so we're trying to find other people that can help contribute. To, you know, get it going faster. Uh, so, a little ways to go. And what about uh, what about jumping? Is that an option? Sure. Jump on it will detect that as well. Uh, yeah. I mean, if you're jumping and moving, then it probably would detect that too. Very good. Very good. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Very very exciting stuff, and uh, I wish you a lot of luck with this. Thank you. Appreciate it. This is Neil Schneider for MTBS TV at CES 2016. We will of course be back with more. Thank you for watching.